let's just skip right to the claim. Um, in the story, the narrator describes Mr. Cornelius Johnson's appearance as conveying his exaggerated self, a sense of self-importance. Okay. Uh, or, oh, wow, I'm reading that wrong. His exaggerated sense of his importance. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty strong, right? So that's, that's probably what we want. Maybe we have to do, maybe a secondary goal is about the appearance specifically, but I don't know. That doesn't bother me as much. Let's look at A. He carried himself always as if he were passing under his own triumphal arch. Well, a, a triumphal arch is like what the Roman emperors would walk under after they conquered Gaul or whatever. They would, uh, you know, parade through the city and say how great they were. So uh, if he's passing under his own triumphal arch, he thinks he's pretty great. Um, even if you didn't know that Roman history, I mean, triumph is like a victory, right? Like if if you're going under it, you know, you're, you're, you think you've triumphed, right? So you think you're pretty good. Um, but also even just the idea of like, carrying himself, right? Maybe that has to do more with the idea of the appearance, but that to me is, is kind of already suggesting that it's, it's how he, you know, carries himself, shows off. Let's look at the other choices though. I mean, that seems pretty good. Uh, B, the gray Prince Albert was scrupulously buttoned about his form and a shiny top hat replaced the felt of the afternoon. Um, well, this technically seems about his appearance, right? Buttoned, uh, t top hat, uh, uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like he's exaggerated sense of importance. Um, maybe you think someone who's wearing a top hat is important, um, but I don't really see that here. Uh, scrupulously means like uh, carefully, as in like he's dressed in such a way that like everything is in the right place, right? If he's got one of those little um, handkerchiefs in his in his uh, you know pocket, it, it's perfectly. Uh, put together, right? Everything is creased in the right places or unwrinkled or whatever. So um, I guess, I don't know, that that maybe sent, gives off a sense of self-importance, but exaggerated, like again, the triumphal arch thing is really doing it for me where it's like, you know, he's feels triumphant. So I don't know, I'd maybe keep his choice in, but I like A better still. C, it was a beautiful day in balmy May and the sun shone pleasantly on Mr. Cornelius Johnson's very spruce Prince Albert suit of gray as he alighted from the train in Washington. This is, just, this is just a nice day. He's wearing a suit and it's nice out. That's all. Nothing about his sense of importance. Uh, D, Mr. Cornelius Johnson always spoke in a large and important tone. Okay. Ooh, large and important tone. This is a trap, right? Because that seems to match with the part in yellow. Where's the, you know, we have to have his appearance, right? So this is his tone, how he spoke, but how does he appear, right? So let's go back to choice A, right? This, I'm glad I did highlight this part of carrying himself. So uh, your demeanor is maybe a, a good word for that. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean like the clothes you wear. It has more to do with just your overall presence, uh, but appearance you know, could be that as well, right? Like, do you stand up straight? Do you, you know, chest out? Like, whatever it may be, uh, that can be your appearance, if not necessarily your clothes. So I get why this is a harder question. I do think it, it feels like there's maybe some background information you need, which is unusual. Um, but, I, you know, I would think that the word triumphal, triumph, you know, that's that's a word that's pretty common enough in English that you should know that it, it basically means someone is celebrating uh, their own victory, right? So uh, that would be you know, so a sense of importance, like, uh, hey, I won, I'm the best. Um, and and yeah, there are other traps, right? There are things noticed that are much more about what we traditionally think of as someone's appearance, their clothes, what they put on their head, right? Uh, so then we also have the stuff in choice D that sounds much more like a, um, a sense of importance, but it's really the marriage of those two goals that we are interested in. And I think that's why maybe I did it by mistake, but uh, it was important for me to think about two different goals, two different claims almost that are in this passage. So that way I have two things that I'm checking for because if I'm only focused on one, I might have multiple choices. But if you were stuck between a few, that's just a reminder for this strategy for these illustrate questions is go back. You probably missed something that's going to separate those choices, right? There's another claim basically that you need to illustrate. Go look for it and then only one choice should emerge as the winner.